The brand new Fortnite season is officially here with tons of new changes to the game, which also means a brand new set of controller binds that I'm going to show you guys today. These settings will be completely optimized for non-claw and non-paddle players. With the new SMGs and the current mechanics of the game, it's looking like it's going to be a wonderful season for controller players. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Starting off with the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 controllers, we're going to get massive inspiration from Okis. Okis is one of the best controller players in North America. He qualified for FNCS Globals, he has $70,000 in earnings, and he also just happened to be the best non-claw, non-paddle controller player in the world. So we're going to have X for jump, right stick for crouch slide repair, circle for sprint, square for reload slash use, and touchpad for toggle harvest tool. If you're wondering how you can press the touchpad on non-claw slash non-paddle, then you would want to push it down from the top with your index finger. This is the best way to utilize touchpad without having to sacrifice your thumb. Then we're going to have switch mode on triangle. You definitely want to be blueprint editing and building to ensure that you're not stiff with your movements. Then we're going to have R2 select, R1 confirm, and L2 reset. And of course, we have to have our edit building on left stick. These are by far the best controller binds for PlayStation controllers. Considering they are used by one of the best controller players in all of North America, I think it's pretty safe to say that those binds are 100% optimal. This can also be done using the PlayStation 5 controller. Trust me, I used to play on the PlayStation 4 controller and then when I switched, I felt little to no difference. Anyways, let's now move on to the Xbox controllers. I don't really know any professional controller players out there who are on non-claw slash non-paddle Xbox. So I base these binds off of my own understanding of controller binds as well as a bunch of other YouTube videos. So we're going to start off with right stick jump, A for crouch slide repair, and the top side of our D-pad for sprint. Then we're going to have X for reload slash use, and Y for toggle harvest tool. Afterwards, we're going to have switch mode on B. Similar to the PlayStation controllers, you definitely want to be blueprint editing to have optimal movement. This playstyle is absolutely necessary if you are on non-claw and non-paddle. Then we're going to have RT select, RB resets, and LB confirm. Similar to the PlayStation controllers, we're going to have our edit building on left stick, because in my opinion, these are pretty optimal for Xbox players and PlayStation players alike. In my opinion, if you are on Xbox, then consider buying paddles or switching to claw to reach your full potential. Actually, this goes to all controller players out there, whether you are on PlayStation or Xbox. It's worth a shot to consider buying paddles or learning claw if you want to become a competitive player in the future. Fortnite is highly reliant on optimal movement and control, which is hard to maintain if you are playing on controller without claw or paddles. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you watched until the end, then comment down below a GOAT emoji so that I know that you actually watched until the end of this video. I will make sure to read and heart every comment that has the GOAT emoji in it. Otherwise, that's it for me. Make sure to subscribe and like for more Fortnite content just like this one, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.